Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Uh, very happy to be with you this morning to present. Uh, I will try very briefly, but uh, I'll try my best to make it uh, very impactful. A uh, very important topic, that is uh, ethical leadership. So how to grow ethical leaders in our society. So, you have some pictures on the screen. On November 19, 2010, the World Forum for Ethics in Business was held at the European Parliament in Brussels. That was a very special event. This world event gathered many top leaders from the business world to discuss one very important issue, that is, how to promote ethics in the world of business effectively. That was the agenda of this World Forum. So top leaders were, were gathered, discussed together for a whole day to come up with a specific action plan in order to promote ethics in the world of business. But they needed a very important input in this discussion. That is the input of the young leaders. So, they decided to allow uh, a time, uh, a space, to allow young leaders from the world to express themselves, to come up with some specific recommendations on how to promote ethics in the world of business. So before that, this event, 20 young ethical leaders were selected from various countries in the world. They were brought to Brussels. They were asked to work for four days and to prepare some very straightforward recommendations to give to these top leaders. There was the, the Vice President of the World Bank Institute, the Vice President of the Development Committee of the European Parliament, many other great personalities. So I applied to this program before, but on the last day, submitted some ideas. Well, these ideas seem to have caught the attention of the organization committee. They sent me an email telling me, you know, we would like you to participate with us in this event. This was something I would never have thought about, seriously, even when applying. I said, I will do it, because someone told me, well, you know, apply, you don't lose anything. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But it appeared that the few ideas I submitted, well, caught their attention and wanted me to share these ideas with the rest of the people gathered at this event. So among the 20 young leaders, three were finally selected to present these, uh, these ideas. And the Alhamdulillah was selected among the three to deliver a speech at the European Parliament. So today, what I want to do is really to share with you these ideas that brought a very historical commitment at the World Forum for Ethics in Business. There's something very huge that's going to happen next year that's being prepared. So I will let you now with a video, small trailer, of what happened during the four days that preceded the day of the World Forum for Ethics in Business. For the past four days, we have debated and discussed how to revolutionize the ethical and sustainable culture within organizations. Information gaps are being exposed more rapidly than ever before, courtesy to blogs, social networks, and online news. Irresponsible corporate actions will be exposed and judged. Ethical leadership would be leading in a manner that respects the rights and dignity of all stakeholders. So here's our proposal. We eagerly invite you to our, our universities, our colleges, our institutions. We relish the opportunity of hearing your views, your strategies, your philosophies. We want to know what you're doing, but more importantly, we want to know what can be done. So let's organize workshops, seminars, interactive sessions on ethical leadership. So what I want to propose to you, 
is to bring this unique experience that made us more effective young ethical leaders. Okay, so as you see, this is the World Forum for Ethics in Business. So today we are gathering uh, CVs, we are building a database of young ethical leaders from many countries uh, around the world. So if you are between 18 and 30, and your friends and colleagues uh, see you as uh, an ethical leader, so do not hesitate, go to ethicalleaders.org. There's not, no profit behind nothing, so you can send your CV there and let us know about what you're doing. Very briefly, to define what is an ethical leader, some people, what is an ethical leader? How does the ethical leader differ from other types of leaders? So we know that leadership, a very concise definition, there are hundreds of definitions of leadership, depending on the angle of study of this phenomenon, but we can you know, summarize it in one sentence, one short sentence. Leadership could be defined as the ability to move people towards goals. The ability, the ability to move people towards goals. So an ethical leader is a leader who leads, or who consistently leads, in a manner that respects the rights and dignity of all stakeholders. May I repeat it again? The ethical leader is a leader who leads in a manner that respects the rights and dignity of all stakeholders. So if you feel you're an ethical leader, ask your friends, your colleagues, if they're convinced you're an ethical leader, please do not hesitate and submit just your CV. Adil, is the video ready? It works? One hundred seventy participants. Twenty five countries. Since four years. One mission. The World Youth Forum for Ethics in Business. What challenges do you foresee specific to the point? I acknowledge I would like to leave these values, but and how? This is a transformation shift. My expectation is first to to learn, uh, to share, to grow as a person, to connect with these young leaders and uh, have the opportunity to come up with something, uh, some strategy and some action plan that would have an impact on uh, on business ethics in the world and um, I also expect a very sustainable uh, relationship with all the guys around here. So it is amazing. Yeah, it is amazing. It is a seat for social power. It is a seat for social change to happen. And you are getting a chance to be a part of that process. You are getting a chance to be a part of that movement to actually yeah, to make that difference to the world. You know?
only when you have a society that is free of stress and violence can you have uh, economics that can flourish in such a society. That I want to do something for my society, I want to change something. I do not want to wait for an outside factor to come and, uh, and make my life better. I want to take charge of my life. What is it that you are loyal to? You can only be loyal to global human values. Without a shareholder, no business. No business, no employment. No business, no value for society. And when you actually have a goal, you'll find ways to reach it. The question is how to uh, overcome all this like fear inside of you. Yes. Do you did you did you guys like uh, felt it? Feel it in your life? The fear. And here is a big big question for me inside. The what to do, how to do, what kind of skills, tools you need to have to really make a change. It's all a matter of uh, courage. It's a matter of the first step, which is always the most important.
to some destination. It can be, you know, a uh, happy destination, uh, you know, anything comfortable, living situations, and that you're, you have this responsibility towards them. You can be leading a project in your work environment. You can be leading a team in your university. So you are in a leadership position. So you have no excuse not to train yourself to become a better leader. And train yourself to be an ethical leader. Someone who moves people to the destination, but with principles, with honesty, with integrity, with generosity. And that will respect, along this journey, that will respect human values, human dignity, human rights of all humans, accepting all the differences in religions, nationalities, everything. You respect a human being. You can be taught, you can totally disagree with a person on his ideas, you can hate his ideas, his positions, but you always keep respect to the human being. Whatever it is, religion, nationality, anything might be. This, is, this was our starting point at the World Forum for Ethics in Business. <coughs> to summarize the two points, and I'll ask you maybe to go on ethicalleaders.org to better uh, gain, or to gain a better understanding of uh, this action plan. Number one, our societies should really care about developing and growing ethical leaders from schools. It's no more acceptable, you know, to have students who were, you know, accustomed just to obey orders, sit down, stand up, you are good, you are bad because you have good marks or bad marks, nothing to do with it. It's time to you know, transmit these values, these universal principles we hold in a new way, a more creative way. Let it, let it be practical, let it be fun. Give opportunities to the youth to participate in, you know, humanitarian activities, in activities that promote the respect of human beings and of the environment. Let them gain responsibilities. Let give them these opportunities to lead and to develop leadership. Number one. Number two, our media, us, if not the, you know, if it's not the, the public media, I would love the public media to, to be there. And I, there are some people very interested in, uh, uh, in some new ideas of hidden cameras, you know, something with a, an educational dimension. We have to value ethical behavior more, you know, to celebrate the ethical leaders, young and seniors in our society. Put them on the screen, on the TV screen, give them awards, everything. And we have to devalue, on the other side, an ethical behavior. Don't be impressed anymore with leaders, you know, with a lot of money in their pockets, a lot of, uh, you know, appearances of success, but an ethical people. You know, don't be, uh, how can I say that, impressed by these people anymore. Very easy to fill your pockets, you know, with uh, dirty money. Not impressed anymore. So let's do that. Media, training, young leaders. Thank you very much for your attention.